everyone so today we are come with a very exciting uh, lecture as you are seen in the last week also we also come with a good uh, lecture okay so that i already uh, described you about the um, downloading the sentinel data okay and that update i already given with that there is a, a new data may you know about it that is called list 4 okay so that is uh, given by the isro okay and uh, that data also is a freely available okay so if you want uh, you can download this data okay and you can uh, start doing uh, analysis inside ArcGIS Pro so how we're going to download this data okay and then how we're going to stack it in inside ArcGIS Pro to make the data ready so uh, that part I will just trying to show you over here okay so just uh, for that uh, you need to go to this uh, the websites which we already have okay so if you don't have your login ID so please just uh, create a login ID first okay and then uh, first you have to log in with this okay and this is the uh, link which I will share to you so from here you can click the link and uh, if you already have login just simply login okay if you don't have login just create a log uh, your login id and then simply like same like gmail id you are creating no? so same like you have to create this login id and then login okay now uh, the next is uh, you can search uh, some locations okay so here you just need to give okay suppose i am giving it for kolkata see it's coming Kolkata West Bengal so you just select it okay so if you want a uh, little less uh, area in square kilometer you can select accordingly okay so and you see the date range you can give accordingly what is the date range you want 27 to 27 uh, December which I just selected now you can go here okay and this need to select this open data <laughs> and you also try to select uh, the sensor type this is basically the list for which we are actually going to download so select that list for data sets okay and then finally uh, here the satellite sensors you just need to select this open data source directly download and you just uh, select the both satellite like this was set 2 and this was set 2 okay so once you are done with this then simply click on submit okay so it will automatically take you to that particular locations where it is belonging from and you see here you may feel that is no data sets will come but if you see here the, the, the data is there okay so you can uh, check the data and accordingly you can download okay so these three data sets suppose uh, about the five square kilometer which i given okay so according to these data sets are actually showing now how we will going to add this data to the cart so suppose first uh, you need to click on this add to cart options okay so once you click on this add to cart options this data is added to your cart so where you this card so this is your card okay so from here you see now data are ready okay to download so before downloading you have to do the confirmation okay see whatever it is selected now it is showing you as a green so once you select it as that and then simply click on confirm so once it is confirmed successfully then only you can start downloading just click on this so it will start downloading okay so i am not downloading but still i am just showing you okay so see here it is the downloading is started okay so uh, now what i try to show you now like after downloading this see here i already downloaded to two data sets how we're going to pre-process it inside arcgis pro so once you downloaded you just see here I downloaded two data for two different cities one is Kolkata one is Bangalore okay so, so Kolkata it will come like that okay so if you just go right click and click extract here so all your data sets will come over here all the bands so here basically you will get as a three three bands you will get okay band two band three and band four the so three different bands uh, usually you will get over here and now uh, now you just want to know the more detail of this data uh, data sets then i can tell uh, you can see this data is basically having three bands mainly green red and near infrared bands so and uh, you have the spatial resolution of 5.8 meter okay and uh, the swath area it is almost 70 kilometer 
okay and temporal resolutions you will get is a 25 days 24 days sorry okay and why the camera system is actually capable for the five days revisit time over the target area the system will actually combine the acquisitions with the resource set 2 and the 2a which is the multispectral mode is actually 24 days and if you want this coverage area for the india scenes which is outside india are actually available by order not as a direct download okay so it is a uh, archive from 2011 to the current data dates you will get this data sets okay now we go to this arcgis pro you just need to open the arcgis pro so i already extracted this data sets okay so let's see how we're going to add all the bands so i will just click on this add data and uh, my data sets will be there here Okay, so three bands will be there so i will select one two and three this three bands i selected okay so let's see uh, let's add this band and just wait for a few minutes see here all my three bands are added so now what you have to do you need to click this uh, clean this uh, black background value so select this and uh, you will see here in the mask you can display background value check off you can click over this band and also you do the same process and you can try the same process over the another three bands now you have to stack these three bands okay to create it, to creating the false color composite so for that i will just organize it in a proper way like two three four okay so then while stacking this will come as it is the same uh, sequence which I given okay so then it will you will not confused so select this one two three and four bands okay and now need to go to this uh, our imagery under imagery we have these options okay the process and then simply click on the composite band so now once you composite see the bands are composited okay so you can uh, remove this maximum the background value and now you want to convert it in a false color so what should be the band combinations see here one thing the automations will not work okay so we have the automation tool but it will not going to work over here okay so you have to manually you have to do okay so like suppose the red band so that is my infrared is my three so three two and one so that is your false color composite and now if you want to see how this data is much better than the sentinel which is already having so then uh, you can compare these data sets okay with the sentinel how will do see for that uh, i will just uh, go to my our uh, portal and i will call recall the sentinel data set suppose so i will go to this uh, our uh, living atlas okay and i will filter out the imagery from this like i go in a category and i will filter out the imageries so see here by default uh, whatever the imageries we have like sentinel okay so i will just added this all world sentinel for this so that this local area which is already uh, i have in my screen so that sentinel data also i will get it for here now what i need to do that is the comparison of these two resolutions okay so that we can understand how the quality of these two data sets okay so now uh, to make in a same comparison mode you have to convert it both in a false color composite so then only we can do it so for that right click on this go to the property okay so uh, under this property you have the processing templates you can just drop down and select it uh, suppose the color infrared with the area okay simply click on apply and uh, just wait and click on okay so uh, you will get see this is the two image okay what is the sentinel and this is our list four so how the quality of list four is better you know the resolution quality you just see here if i swipe it okay so see here the boundary okay so of the field you may not visible in the list three sorry uh, in in the sentinel okay but in list four it is very clear you see the boundary which is very sharp in my list four than this okay so you can uh, increase the transparency also and you can try to understand this thing same scenarios okay so you just see here 
or if you go for the flicker and you can try to understand so that only see here okay so there is a certain range of zooming okay so you just see here the uh, the boundary lines okay so those are very sharp okay in our lease for that because of that resolution quality is 5.8 and the sentinel is 10 meter resolutions so that is the reason we are getting more sharp images over uh, it every that is land cover even the forest also you can see the forest surface uh, the roughness are much more and boundaries are more sharp than the sentinel uh, 2 then list force are much more better uh, data sets which you are there so that's all from my side so uh, if possible i will show you uh, in the one of the video how we will going to pre-process or do the atmospheric corrections over this particular list for inside our arcgis pro so thank you so i hope you like this video and this is very useful for everyone okay because uh, this new data sets i will uh, suggest everyone all of our customers also that please uh, use these data sets it's a very good data product okay thank you thank you all